It is 6.18. It is the morning of the first day of the three-day swap meet. first Saturday of every month, year-round. Uh, we currently do it at the Lanier Raceplex in Braselton, Georgia. And basically the way I like to tell everybody about it, if you're not familiar with what a swap meet is, it's a flea market for car guys. So and we kind of open it up to everything that you would find in a guy's shop, basement, or garage. So we open it up to vintage tools, tools and shop equipment, vintage signs. We get a bunch of old bicycles up here. We get the occasional antique outboard boat motor. Just generally just cool stuff. Do you want to tell about the mission and how like the process works? That's a good idea, yes. Yes. Uh, we try to keep things really simple. A lot of swap meets will, uh, they'll, first they'll nickel and dime you to death. Second, they want to make everything real complicated by having pre-registration. And I don't know if it's because I want to make things easier because I'm lazy, but I don't do any of that. Uh, it's, if you want to set up and want an extra hour, then we've got priority vendor set up, which is from 6 to 7 a.m. And that's $30 per vehicle and you get all the space you want, which is also another big difference between us and other swap meets. So you can come in with a, with a three-axle enclosed trailer and the price is the price. So we're not going to make you try to squeeze all your stuff into little bitty places like every other show. Uh, if you don't want that extra hour to set up, then we've got vendor general admission. That's from 7 o'clock on. And that's just $20 per vehicle for all the space you want. All of our vendor spaces, uh, admissions, they get the driver and one helper. And we let the helpers in for free, which is also something a lot of other swap mates do. And the reason we do that is because moving heavy stuff by yourself sucks. So I'm not gonna try to get into anybody's pocket if they need to move venture blocks and everything else. And then uh, spectator entry is just $6 per person and kids 12 and under are free. Because they're expensive enough as it is. So. And generally speaking, the show wraps up about noon. Um, we would run it later, but everybody has been kind of, you know, everybody's decided that about noon, they've seen everything, they've had enough, and they've got to go home and do their honeydew list. So it's really nice for the vendors because they can go home and sleep in their bed that night. Um, they're not getting an extra hotel room. They don't really have to stop for dinner, and so that keeps expenses down all the way around. And for all the spectators, it makes them happy because on Saturday afternoon, then they can still go do stuff with the family. So if you need any more information about our show, you can go to our website, which is anegeorgiaswapmeet.com. You can also check us out on Facebook at Northeast Georgia Swap Meet, or you can either call me directly or shoot me a text, and I will put you on our monthly newsletter reminder list. And that phone number is 706-424-5035, or brad56 at windstream.net. See you guys here. It's raining currently, but meanwhile, over here at the Resurrected Garage tent, <laughs> we are working on our pit bike. I guess to detail it, it's ugly. He put a new tire on there, got it going good, so hopefully we can sell it tomorrow. Today. Or, or today, to whatever. I need chrome polish. I'm sure somebody here's selling it. Where's our rain jacket?
We're over at the neighboring booth. We hear something bad. Our tent is dead now. But our ratchet strips help, so yay for that. We have a rooftop tent. to crash and burn. <laughs> So do you want to tell about this bike and how you acquired a bike? Um, and what so it I is? accidentally bought a chopper from Keith Turk. Um, it was very accidental, not intentional at all. And we're going to see if it'll run. He said it just needed a gas and a battery. And we have both of those things, so we're going to see how true that is. Since it's from Keith, I trust it 100%. the fact that he did not try to fluff this bike up to be anything that it is not. Yes. That, that makes me very happy about this whole transaction. Yeah, yeah this was a, uh, it is what it is, but you still want it. Yeah. Does have a sight glass? You can get a dipstick. That a little stick. It? Don't smell like gas, so that's okay. Does it have gas in it? No. It ain't got no gas in it. That's the problem. How do you put the battery in this? I see now why Keith said that battery is easy to off. You got that? It's interesting. <laughs> Say the least. The guy he got it from restored. I also love the fact that he laughed about that. Like, this battery does not fit in here. It is like a quarter inch too long. Can we bend the battery box and make that work? I have a smaller battery.
I guess. Kicker. No, you just kick it. It's not hard to kick either. You kick it like that shovel head, it's gonna you'll hurt yourself. Just roll it over. Harder than that. trailer. We've got the rolls on the 7.3 and last but not least Marcus came with old black buddy. <laughs> 